Have you ever played a hunting video game and thought to yourself, holy shit, this is terrifying, why is a hunting game actually this scary? Me too, and apparently this was something disturbingly common in hunting sims from the late 90s and early 2000s in which you would find a game that on the outside looks like a rather mundane simulation of sitting and waiting to pump hot lead into innocent woodland creatures and or oceanic fauna, but when you actually begin your journey into the depths of your chosen killing ground, you find that the hunting goes both ways. And shark hunting the great white is absolutely no exception. So what exactly is shark hunting the great white, I hear you asking from the other side of my plasma screen microwave. Well, it's rude to interrupt, but shark hunting the great white is, as the name suggests, a shark hunting simulator with a simple premise. Hunt like your life depends on it because it does. And that's it. No story unless you count the adorable mission briefings for each locale. No dialogue, no fellow humans, and no mercy for the guy that has to do the actual diving and, you know hunting the great white. So once you're done playing in the menus and pretending you didn't read the ominous descriptions on the weapons, you're here. Thrown out into the open ocean with nothing but your thoughts and underpowered weapon to accompany you. Even the boat you presumably arrived in offers no more sanctuary than your teammates do when you were too busy gambling at the mystery box to notice you missed the transit bus. So onward you go, swimming at the speed of someone who threw their back out getting here, armed with the best tool for hunting lunch menu sized animals, and just when you begin to wonder if there really are any sharks in here or if this was all just some elaborate prank, your heart starts pounding. Your shark instincts start to tingle. Your palms are sweaty. Your knees are weak. And then a fucking shark emerges from the emptiness like the ghost that lives in your closet. And just like that, it disappears into the darkness again along with that chunk of flesh of yours. It's okay, you just weren't prepared that time. But certainly you are now, so take chase and hope you don't get turned around. And when you do, and when the shark's instincts start throbbing again, the absolute best thing you can do is to tactically look in every direction in hopes you can catch a glimpse before it takes even more flesh from your slow, undoubtedly delicious body. But the funny thing about that is, no matter which way you tactically look, it is always the wrong fucking direction. Okay, so there's nothing inherently wrong with getting the bad ending, at least the first time. It's probably just the equipment you chose. Yeah, that's it. This time, we'll use the right stuff so we can actually survive like our job description says we might. And no matter the locale, whether it's grandmother's backyard pool or the fucking abyss, the feeling of being a flightless bird in a reptile enclosure never really goes away. And neither does my amazement at the fact that these gigantic sharks are the most agile creatures I've ever seen, holy shit, landing a shot and reloading what I can only assume is an aquatic musket and not becoming tonight's potluck is an actual miracle. And the funny thing about shooting and not hitting your target is that eventually you run out of ammunition. And before you ask, no, you did not bring extras on your little boat, presumably to save room or because you're supposed to be just that good at your job. But now you're forced to face your fears and come to the realization that you've just been outplayed by a fish. So stab like you've never wielded a knife before and pray that your enthusiasm is all you need. You know, something about the near silent altercation between man and beast being shattered by the piercing victory screen just kind of ruins my desire to do a victory screech. And normally this is the part where I bring the video to a close, but I can't resist the temptation of at least trying Abity Island. I'll admit, I thought the water would be a little deeper than this considering... I don't know what end result I expected. So, to summarize this whole experience, Shark Hunting the Great White is absolutely one of the scariest non-horror games I've ever played, with its combination of quiet, ominous ambience and silent, aggressive beasts that are far better at both swimming and killing than you. It yields an experience that I'm about 94% sure was not the developer's intention.